Ooh, what's this? Here we go. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh. Boom. Oh, look at it. Look at look. Holy smoke. What is this thing? What is this? Oh, no way! No way, I know what this is. Hey everybody, how we do today? Rappers Ava Auctionaire, Extraordinaire Second Sense Auctions, and wow, wow, wow. This house is amazing. These people collected antiques, all kind of high quality items and we found everything from money to sterling silver antique pieces a cane from the 1880s i mean unbelievable stuff baby grand piano and that's we didn't get through the whole first floor yet so who knows what else we're gonna find you guys if you haven't subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for it's free not like how much they pay for all the stuff in this unbelievable house. So subscribe. It's free. Hit the bell. Get all your notifications. You guys don't want to miss a thing. You never know what you're going to see and what we're going to find. So let's take a look. And I left off last with this unbelievable statue right here. Nice bronze statue. And with bronzes, you're always looking to see if they're signed. A lot of times they're going to be signed. And this one right here has a number in there. So this is probably just a cast of a statue so it's probably now worth tons of money maybe fifty dollars or so we got artwork all around the place this is signed right here who knows now this looks like a book but it's a faux book so kind of cool and we got nice furniture everywhere this is called a uh, rope turned i believe so <clears throat> kind of looks like rope right there Syracuse University. University. And then let's take a look at this. This is a nice little den area. Ooh, some cool pieces. Oh, this is where that wall was Shane earlier. If you guys didn't see the last episode, you gotta check it out. This house is full of surprises. Oh, I guess I should be right there. Oh, I don't know this. instruments here and then here I bet you a lot of you guys didn't know I did not know how to play this instrument so now you guys know I don't know how to play this instrument what is this thing called Shane it's the uh, tin can yeah tin can I like it so if you know what it's called let us know this is a nice ornate box oh my gosh hold on a second Supposed to pop out of something. Ah! I'm confused. But it's cool. It is cool. Oh yeah, you can you can get all the way through there, Shane. So it's like a bar. This part probably flips up. It's pretty sweet. Cool little kitchen area like man, look at this. This is all hand pounded. Brass. Look at this. Another piece of artwork. Signed a number. And like I said, art is one of those things you just never know what it could be worth. We gotta look everywhere in here. That's part of a yo-yo, I think. Nice huh. book ends here. Some antique books. That's the only thing he really wants to keep is his books. So yeah, Blu-ray player. Bag of what? Control. Another chair. Lots of books. <laughs> Look at Shane. Just money. Sitting here. All right. Huh. Something fancy was in there. Something fancy. Cribbage? Or orange clothes. I thought it said cribbage. Looks like we got a little. Chess game in here. Yeah, search everywhere. Slippers. Those look like comfy slippers. 
some nice old books here, but he wants the books. So one thing we're not going to sell is the books, but we do we'll sell these Advent speakers right here. And uh, those are nice bookshelf Advent speakers. Furniture, yeah, it's pretty well used. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh yeah, that's the real deal right there. That's a, called a candlestick phone. That's a brass candlestick phone. Underneath here, it's gonna tell you the name of the company. Western Electric. It's a Western Electric. Shane, I didn't get your text because I'm on a candlestick phone. <laughs> you can't text a rotary phone. All right, I can tell you that right now. But that is a nice, nice. We got some audio equipment, Sony, always good. Here's our other speaker, Shane. So we do have a pair. Looks like we might just have some games and stuff down here. This says slides. It says pictures and slides. <laughs> Cassettes. The Hobbit, part five. If we find the rest of it, we can listen to it on the way home, Shane. So, Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. All kind of literary classics. We've got some vintage vinyl down here. Mom and the Papas, The Young Rascals. So, Temptations. Look at uh, John Denver, Janis Joplin. So definitely worth a few bucks. Condition will be everything with the records. What is if I just pull this out and all of a sudden this whole thing opened up? <laughs> it's one of those houses I wouldn't be surprised if that would happen. I gotta go down to the basement. You never know what you're finding in the basement. This is cool basement. Cool steps. I like this whole woodwork. Holy smoke shame. Put your flash on that. Shine a light back in there. Is there anything in that crawl space? Shane, you're gonna have to crawl back in there. <laughs> Who knows? We got an antique controller right here. And uh, let's see. First, let's see. A lot of times they're already wound up, so I don't want to overwind it. Might need to put a new needle on it or have to change the angle. This is it. But it is turning, that's a good sign. Nice piece right here. It does have additional records in there. And this is the speaker right here. You'd open that up to get more sound out. A nice antique piece. <laughs> well, we got the wine cellar, Shane. So. Probably won't be selling any of this stuff, but 2003. So, bottle 2003, 20 year old bottle of wine. Depends on the year, the vintage. It could, you know, it's one of those ones that goes a good year. Could be worth a lot of money. Oh my gosh, look at this. Now, this is a player piano, Shane. <laughs> Somehow this will start spinning and it will play the music on the piano here. I don't know if this one works or not. Plug it in. No luck. Shane, you can move this upstairs. So we got boxes over here. Oh my gosh. You won't believe it. Not like Snoopy's. So these must have been giveaways and all these. I can see they say Joe Cool on them, Snoopy Beanie Babies. So we got boxes full of Beanie Babies. Oh, look at this thing. Woo -hoo -hoo. National Cash Register, Dayton, Ohio. And this one is beautiful finish on there. Oh man. Look at the ornateness over here, Shane. What an awesome, awesome piece. Take a better look over here. And this is something when I was a kid I had, the see-through phone. That's pretty cool when you're a kid. Uh, hello, Robert speaking. 
So we're going through all the different time periods. The first phone, turn of the century. This phone, 1980s. This phone, 50s, 60s, old school payphone. So, I mean, very cool. And this is the kind of stuff people like to have, put on their wall, and this will clean up real nice. And who knows what else we're gonna find down here. Look at this old pet. Morgan. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's a brass ashtray. I mean, it's heavy. Oof. I don't know what they were made from. I think from a US military shell casing. Yep. See, it had something right here. Oh, see, there's the top. That would go like that, see? Military shell casings. That's pretty cool. Cash register. I open it up, but the last patent date on there is 1897. So, old, old piece. Wow. So I love my job. You never know what we're going to see. You never know what we're going to find. Oh my gosh. That is an old, old exit sign right there. And this, I mean, this thing is cast metal. How nice it looks lit up. So, we got more to go through. I don't know what else is in the basement. And we got to go upstairs. All right, look at this. We got a vintage bow and arrow. Oh, look at this. The dual knife. It's kind of cool. We got another knife up there. Got all those arrows. Steamtown USA. Heck yeah. What do you think? Does that look like it just came from Steamtown? Official. USA? Official. Cool. And look, there's a knight armor down here. We got a sled. Old sled. Fishing poles. There's a toboggan. What is this? Tri pack rifle rod. Gun cleaning. A gun cleaning kit right there. All stuff for the player piano. We got records. Old American flag. Look right here, Shane. Look right here. Copper fire extinguisher. Date and fire company. So all kind of cool antiques, collectibles. Stuff just keeps adding up. A little flag here. This is probably a bayonet. So, I mean, this house is full of surprises. Everywhere you look, you just find a little thing here, a little thing there. You don't know what you're going to find next. And I can't wait to see what's upstairs. We've got the vintage bar light here. It might turn on. We'll have to see. It's very nice plugged in. And then this. Old little bell. So, cool stuff. This place is unbelievable. Look at the stained glass windows over there. Now we get to venture upstairs, and this is a nice staircase right here. Wow, wow, wow. We got this old painting right here. It's really nice. Cool frame. Who knows what we're going to find? Go to the first. <laughs> of the Jedi puzzle. That's worth a few bucks. Everyone likes Return of the Jedi. Even Shane. Got an African American Cabbage Patch Kid with the Obama buttons. So this says 84 down here. Here's a birth certificate for Eldred. Hello Eldred. Another antique piece here. Wash stand. Halloween decorations. 
Halloween decorations. So, so we got all kind of little things and dual closets. That's pretty awesome. The two kids. So who knows? I was looking for vintage clothes. Old brown shirt there. Forty-five records. Christmas Carol clock. Something. It's big. Certificate of authenticity. Holy smoke. Charlie Brown. Look at that. Got Charlie Brown down here. You got Snoopy. Linus. You got the whole crew. I don't know what that's worth. I'm going to say 50 bucks. Low end. Probably 100. Charlie Brown Christmas tree over there. I know we got some cast iron candlesticks. Candelabras. Some kind of old. Oh, it's a mirror. Marion. A woodchuck for all seasons. But keep a secret under your hat. Another closet. Who knows? I always like going in closets and attics and basements and basically everywhere. Another Christmas story bobblehead, I think. It's the lamp. I can already tell you, the lamp bobblehead. It looks like we got some puzzles up here. Old clothing bags, no clothes. Marble lamp. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. All right, another little bedroom. It's nice furniture. This is TFI furniture. Let's see some little things down here. Huh, kind of cool. It's a little vintage sewing kit. White scissors in the box. All right, 30 bucks. A lot of people don't know, it's just like one of those things, those old scissors like that. Well made quality stuff and quality stuff's always worth money, Shan. Another nice little sewing kit. Pins, needles. Sometimes you gotta look for, sometimes these little thimbles are gonna be sterling silver. There's some that are worth big money. Let's take a look right behind you. Serious pin more. Six sewing attachments. Ooh, what's this? There we go. Nice. Nice. 24 year service. Again, it's lighter. Air Refrigeration Corporation. Another little lighter. This is probably for like a pocket watch. Maybe, maybe it's a necklace. I'll have to look at it. it. Looks like it's probably sterling silver. Some kind of bracelet right here. A lot of these are sterling. More lighters. Watch bands. Some more like fobs, like a comb for it. See, like you put your pocket watch on this end. This would go on your part here, you know. So, who knows? But that's some good stuff in there. We like finding old vintage stuff. But there's some in that, and that means these things probably have some cool stuff too. Oh, look at that. Nice old watch. So, on the back, they're going to be marked 10 carat gold filled Gruen. I don't know if you can see it or not. But beautiful watch with the original case makes it worth more money. Another old watch here. Another old watch right here. So old watches definitely always worth money. Some are worth more than others, but these could be worth fifty dollars, hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Military ring or something. It says it looks like it says Naples. U.S. Marine Corps dog tags. Another 
good note, could find money in one of these old walls. Could very find money in the house. Slide. Looks like we got some clothes. Some more clothes. <laughs> South Park shirt. That's pretty cool. 1998. So just stupid things like that. Could be worth some money. Clean Cavaliers. Geek Squad. Henry David Thoreau. Who doesn't want a picture of Henry David Thoreau on his shirt? I know Shane does. He's been looking for us. It's like, Rob, when I get enough money saved up, I'll buy the Henry Thoreau shirt. So we got a closet. Definitely got some artwork. Looks like the clothes aren't really much in here. Old Prince. Thomas More. Oh, that's who that guy was saying. Thomas More. I thought it was Christopher Columbus. Now that is old. It says 1904 down there. It's just a house like this. Like I said, you just don't know where we're going to find. Awesome pieces for sure. Oh, look at the shelf. Five tier shelf. <clears throat> Awesome. This chair right here, this is an antique rocking chair. It used to have this beautiful inlay in there, but over the years it's been falling out slowly. It looked like mother of pearl inlay. I won't even sit on it because I'll probably break it. Coffee. Button collection. So an old coffee can like that, very cool. More sewing stuff. Questions, anything inside the chest? Just got fabric, clothes, blankets. Nothing too crazy. Some military blankets down there. Alright, see if we got any of these, Justin. Woohoohoo! Some more old stuff for sure. Say, oh, medical doctor, MD. So maybe this is from the military. Maybe it was a doctor in the military. Quite possible. An old glass bottle. Lots of old pictures in here. Old flag. Pictures. Old Bible. Pins. Lions Club. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We got a bunch of slides. I just don't know though. Some old photos for sure. Look at this. Nice little box. Yeah. I'll just hit some photos. A very cool old box. I love buying these old kind of boxes. More photos, photos, more personal stuff it looks like, holy old, antique bibles, billfold, all leather, I don't know if this is a Masonic apron, let's find out, there's a Masonic apron. Smoke all all kind of stuff in here. Oh, look at the old gloves. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> kind of money right now. Off the rip. 25 Grammos, Republic of Dominica. 1897 peso. 20 Deutsch, Deutsch marks. Deutsch marks. Canadian dollars. So, some old money. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a cigarette case. Opens up and that's a lighter on top. Somehow this would. 
me. It does it to Shane, I swear. Let's push it this way, actually. Right. Old wallet. bottle crystal perfume bottle sometimes they're marked but it's a nice piece right there right about fifty dollars looks like it had a, another piece that looks like the stem broke off of this one the topper all right take a look over here holy smoke there's all kind of stuff in here some cool pieces some antique furniture all hand carved old old piece Little Pez dispenser. Metal light. <laughs> Look at this. It's Elmo. 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 Cookie jar. So, who wouldn't want an Elmo cookie jar? Uh, Shane's been looking for one for years. Finally, his dreams come true. Oh, Shane. <laughs> Freddy Krueger glove. Ninja. Ninja style. Looks like he used this a few times. All right, we got old photography equipment down here. Looks like a Polaroid land camera, a J66 model. We got old projectors down here. Definitely worth a few bucks. Another camera. Keystone model A3. Then we got clue. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. Vintage jersey. Shaq, baby. Blockbuster video. Captain Morgan. Dude. That way made my Halloween costume. <laughs> Leather vest. Then we got the Boy Scouts of America. Oh, it's apple stuff. Oh, apple. Everybody got an iPad. Look at these curve. We've got these huge oars for the curtain rods. Very nautical. Any most the nautical theme in this room? What the heck is this? What the heck is brand new? What does it say? Desk elliptical machine? That's what it is. Underneath your desk, a little elliptical machine. Keep your legs running. Take a look at this cool plane chain. We got the biplane made of metal. Very nice. Huh. A little Spider web, photo candle holder. Oh, look at Shane jewelry boxes. I wonder if they got anything in them. Or if they're just empty. The Millionaire Hanger Club. 1966. Well, if you're a millionaire in 1966, life was pretty good, Shane. <laughs> oh. Boo. smoke so we're gonna have all kind of jewelry in here and there's cufflinks there's pins there's this dude bracelets some of these could be gold gold filled we got more jewelry underneath here so that's a good sign, especially since there's more jewelry boxes here. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. The U.S. pin right there. That's an antique little pin with a picture inside. That's 
sterling silver. I just tell how it's made. It's old piece. Some nice pieces. Oh, money, money. Old. $2 bills. Find money. Jewelry. Another lighter compact. And these like these I don't know why, but these old cases like this sell for good money. The name and everything's inside here. And the lighter's up here. <laughs> See that? So when you close the case again, it would light it. So you take your cigarette out and then and the case would have to be closed to close it. Cool piece. Oh, there's a shelf under here. No, nothing underneath there. A pair of earrings right here. What is this? Fine glasses. Interesting. Alright, Jim, let's see what we got over here. Empty box. Ho oh, ho! All kind of cufflinks. Tie clips. Nice little lot right here. Got the Lions clubs. People always like buying pins, cufflinks. Wow. 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 That is an antique piece of jewelry. Definitely sterling silver. And I'm not sure if they added this. Like these pieces of jade on. Or if that's how it came, I don't know, but man, that is a cool old piece. And those are the kind of things that get me excited. And hopefully this jewelry rock is loaded. <laughs> all kind of antique. We got all kind of pens, brooches, all kind of different companies. This rhinestone jewelry. These pieces right here. Masonic. There's just so much. Ah, I'm dropping things. There's so much stuff in here. Pens. Look at these old pieces here. First year union. Earrings. I got all this thing. Look at that. I mean, that's old. Old. Oh, Jesus. Necklaces, bracelets. 1968, that piece has on it. Empty. Earrings. I mean, this goes on. Um, well, solid brass. There you go, friend. It's a very cool little box right here. Some vintage antique jewelry. Uh, let's pull out the bottom drawer here. Wow. Got all kind of pieces. Little copper bracelet right there. This looks like another pocket watch fob. So where's all the pocket watches, Shane? Find a lot of pocket watch fobs. But no pocket watches. Uh, another piece of antique furniture. This stuff is really old. Uh, this could be 1800s. Orange man on rank, sweet victory. Carmelo Anthony. Unfortunately, sun bleach. This boat is really nice. This is all wood. I got this nice little old desk here. And this is definitely old desk right here. Stuff. Thing on there, and you can see it. Mm -hmm. 
what happened was this is an antique desk. These are replacements. These are not original. Everything would have looked more like this. So like these here, like these might be original. These are not. These accent pieces, these are not original. That was all added on. But this piece is an antique piece with new embellishments. Hey, what the heck? I'm kind of afraid to go in here. Be attacked by a raccoon. Yeah, that would be a shame. Alright. So, we'll see. Luggage. We got a fan. A toy chest. Woohoo! Oh, there could be some cool stuff in here. Ah! Alligator. Oh, yeah. Transformers, original, radio, we got all kinds of stuff in here, Star Wars, Transformers, Transformers, more Star Wars, more Transformers, more Star Wars, more Transformers, definitely a few dollars worth of toys in here. All kind of hot wheels. Oh, we got old baseball carts. We got this dude. So who Nine knows? Days. Garbage pail kits. So who knows what we're gonna find? Let's see, we got '80s baseball cards. Let's see what year this is. '87. Some 90s in here, so nothing too crazy, but definitely a few dollars. Huh. What is this thing? What is this? Oh, no way! No way! I know what this is. Oh, look at this, Shane. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Now this predates the Erector set. And this is a Meccano set, number 3X. Look at this. And this is what Erector came with right here. 1927 Erector. But Meccano is the name. And I had some of these sets before. And they're worth good money especially when I see this level of completion it looks like it's probably almost all there the motors here that's a big time plus it has this original insert in here so probably a hundred dollar toy or so but man awesome piece just hiding back here I got more toys right back here the Brio wood train Probably about 20 bucks, 30 bucks. So, some cool stuff. Some portable air conditioner hoses. What is this thing? Ah! Animal cage. Christmas. Christmas. Portable air conditioner. Alright, we got all kind of. Vintage hat, Cincinnati. Oh. oh man. That's it, Shane. It's the golf course hat. Heck yeah. Put your cold ones in there. Just drive down. We've got the Airborne Army plastic helmet. Some cool stuff. This is definitely a kids' room. Cleveland hat. Helmet. Some vintage hats. 45 records. All shook up, uh huh, uh huh, and I'm all shook up. That's not just the coolest thing in the room. Look at this fan, the Robo fan. His eyes probably light up. We gotta see if this thing works. I've never seen a Robo fan in my life. I don't get excited about fans often, but when I do, it must be a Robo fan. Yes! I never knew 
I wanted one until I seen one. And that's what I love about my job. Robo fan, you are the greatest. Yes, I am. I blow. Oh, don't stop working, Robo fan. No. Oh. No. Oh. oh, thank you, Robo fan. No. No. Oh. It works partially. Intermittently. Intermittently, but who cares? He's a robot. And a fan. All right, this house is unbelievable. And trust me, when I'm gonna say this, it gets better. Wait till you see the next video. You won't believe we go to the master bedroom and the attic. Ho oh, ho, unbelievable finds. It is just crazy. You guys gotta check it out. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget, leave a comment, give a thumbs up, take a look at all the other videos, share with your friends. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Wait till you see what we find next.